professional record, a perfect one. 40 bouts, 40 victories, including 30 knockouts. The challenger, consisting of 26 victories, including 12 knockouts, with only one defeat. Representing Williamsburg in the ring than these two guys oh, are wearing right now. Oh my god, is it fringe is yeah. everywhere? Down goes Colasso on Hatton's first at three, some three, moment. Three, it hadn't happened yet. Oh I don't think he was that hurt with the first one. Not even when he's away from the ropes in the center of the ring. Hatton will crowd you and make you fight every second of the fight. Well, Colasso yeah, is but showing he that he's all bad neither, because it seems like Ricky right now has slowed his momentum down for a moment. <laughs> Hatton's left hook appears to bother Colazzo again. Colazzo Right here, you see, Ricky came out as I thought. He crowded him, got him in a position where he... Hatton goes to work on the body as Colazzo once again hesitates. Well, they're right there, Colazzo's mouth. There must be quite a number of opponents who think to themselves during the first couple of rounds, Nobody can. He was going to be a problem early in the fight, regardless of whether he stood toe to toe or box, because he's got good reflexes. And uh, Lazo was fighting with him. And, 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 and even though he, I think he's winning this round, he's going to have to do this a long time. He should be trying to legalize his jab a little bit more. Now Hatton with a huge right hand over the top. Don't look teen out of 61, Hatton out of uh, 17 out of 66. Hatton has thrown 66 punches in each of the first two rounds. Yes, Luis is in close. And instead of... Good job by the referee keeping order there. You heard Colazzo say to the ring doctor, I'll protect myself. This is how he'll have to protect himself, by fighting back. Gaines features thudding punches on both sides. Oh, yeah, they're, they're both punching there, but it is, you know, Ricky, I've been surprised that Ricky's a strength in this. Throwing more punches and landing. 9, 27, two rounds to one. Ricky Hatton. Jim, if that, that cut was caused by an accidental headbutt, if the bell rings to end the fourth round, we go to the scorecards if the referee stops the fight because of that cut. If it goes, you know, if the cut is made worse beyond the fourth round, we go to the scorecards. Uh, Ood and odd. Hatton took it pretty well and comes back with a fusillade of body shots. Takes a big right hand upstairs from... Even though right now I have got the tip for tat, it can be going the way. But I just know that Ricky is so strong inside it that I don't know much of opportunity to, to box. He forces him to fight his fight. And the will to do that. He's making the best out of what he's got. Hatton's trainer, Billy Graham, was himself a fighter. 112 out of... Right here, you can see Colazzo land a tremendous short right hook. And it's very interesting because... This is a round in which Hatton hasn't. Good left hand by Colazzo. Hatton eight now he's got his rhythm to go on right now, and he's fighting a perfect fight. He finishes up his punches and moving away, keeping a distance, punching and moving away and maintaining the distance. Hatton needs Just to jump like Colazzo that. and mug him the way he did in the first round. It's hard to get that close. When Never was that superstar in terms of his performances over here. He had rough fights over there. Wayne McCullough comes in. Louis Colazzo, I've got him winning three rounds in a row, winning by one point because Hatton scored a knockdown in the first round. I have the fight three rounds apiece, which means I have that hat in the head by one point. On back covered. And his chest. And his arms. Hatton gets off three body shots. Hatton just working hard. here on American soil. This is what he hopes will earn him the chance to... It's full tonight here, but, but right now, I think the momentum has swung back to Ricky because he's fighting at... Yes. He seems gradually to be bending the fight back in his direction by doing this. Yes, and if you notice when they break, the referee breakers, watch how quickly he gets to his man. See there? Right away. Hard right, right, right away. hand by... Huge left hook right, by Hatton. So and another chopping left hook. And he's shooting a lot of the short right-hand leads as soon as the referee moves. Our producer in the truck, David Harmon, 
disagreed with me when I said it was a brilliant fight in Boston. I was thinking of the true. Good uppercut by Hatton. That's right. But nevertheless, he's the type of guy that won't let nothing deter him. His left eye's closing first because Colazzo's been way more in terms of his visibility and showing that he belongs on the big stage. Absolutely. Yeah, Dad is not landing the type of the clean. The clean punches are mostly being landed by Colazzo, but right here you see a clean punch right there, and those are the punches that's catching the, the attention of the crowd because but Ricky Hatch. Hard right hand by Colazzo. Right. Hard left hand by Colazzo. Good body shot by Colazzo. Big penalize them? I don't know. Colazzo retreating in full in this round, but occasionally these guys, the judges who are here, do not have the kind of track record which tell the ninth round. It's been an interesting round in which Colazzo has reestablished his boxing. Right here, when Colazzo was on the rope, you see both guys landing right hands at the same time. Both of them had about the same amount of effect. In terms of those numbers, but the style seemed to favor Colazzo. Colazzo, you know, Colazzo's a bigger man. He's not used to fighting guys this big, and also guys, as I said, who have a big fun in from the crowd themselves also. Chopping right hand over the top by Hatchy. Big body shots. Colazzo backs him off with a hard left hand. Boost his aggression on it. Big uppercut by Hatton. Big left hand by Colazzo. But, but for the most part, Colazzo is sitting out there trying to meet him. What a rally by Colazzo here! Lands a right hook and a big left hand. And I Suddenly think sees his head in the was ring. Hurt. Hatton was hurt. was hurt by that shot. Yes, he was hurt. He's badly hurt now. Ricky Hatton holding on. Colazzo right. looking for a two-point round, which could conceivably win him the fight. And I don't think Hatton has experience that that hold on in a fight like this. Don't worry about punching him. Don't give him too much distance. Just grab his arms. Wrestle. Tie him up. Fall down if you have to. Big left by Hatton. Stops Colazzo on the way in. Great left hook. Never done by Colazzo. The last minute is belonging to Hatton. There's a good body shot by Colazzo. And another look at some highlight action. This is from round 12. Louis Colazzo with that brilliant straight left hand as Hatton was coming in. And a big shot there that snapped Hatton's, Hatton's head back. And Emmanuel Stewart, Ricky Hatton, had to hold on. He had to hold on. He was hurt for the one on a few times probably in his career. That was and moments a, later yeah, in the round. Some great shots. I mean, they really did. Ricky Hitman.